Hello dear colleagues, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to share with you an exciting ESL game which is called Fast Questions. This game is not only fun, but it also helps students practice their language skills under pressure. It encourages quick thinking, listening, speaking, which is essential for academic progress. In today's video you will learn how to prepare and how to play the game, how to avoid classroom management mistakes during the game, and how to adapt the rules for students of different levels. Well, to prepare for the game, divide your students into two teams, Team A, Team B, and ask them to stand up Take their chairs and put them next to the classroom board like this. Team A to the right of the teacher, Team B to the left. And ask students to sit down one behind another, facing the opposite team like this. Student 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And Team A the same 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. The teacher will act as a moderator and a scorekeeper, so have a piece of paper at hand. And explain to the students that the aim of the game is to ask and answer questions in pairs as quickly as possible and to move along the line of chairs after every question and answer. The first pair of students sitting opposite each other will start the game. Uh, for example, students from Team A will ask questions and students from Team B will answer them in the first round of the game. So, student 1 from Team A says, what's your favorite food? And student 1 from Team B should quickly answer something. My favorite food is ice cream. And both students should move to the end of the columns like this. While all the other students should move forward. Now, as you can see, students who started the game are now at the end of the rows and students number two will ask and answer questions. Continue playing the game like this and the game is over when students make a full circle and come back to their initial seats. For example, uh, the students who started the game, who are here at the end of the row, are back to their seats at the beginning of the rows. In the second round of the game, those students who asked questions, Team A will answer questions and Team B will ask them. The role of the teacher is to keep the score. Every correct question and answer will earn one point for the team. But if the answer is short, then this answer will earn only half a point. This rule will encourage students to answer in full sentences. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. Playing this game can easily turn your classroom into chaos if you make mistakes in classroom management. So pay attention to the following. Do not let students just stand in a line instead of sitting on their chairs. Chairs help to organize students and prevent them from running and making noise. Do not mark the points on the board right after the students speak. It will be too stressful for them. Instead, make notes in your notebook and discuss any mistakes students made later when it comes to calculating the total score. After all, it's just a game, not an exam. If there are many students in your group, choose no more than 10 to play in the first game. The other students should wait for their turn. Divide them into two groups too and say that if they make noise or misbehave, their team will lose points. 
If a student can't ask or answer a question for more than 10 seconds, say switch and the next student will play. But in order to prevent students from skipping their turn, remind them that the game will stop as soon as the first students come back to their places. Use grammar and vocabulary appropriate for your students' level, otherwise they will not benefit from playing the game. Now let's look at what can be done to the game's rule to make it match your student's level. With elementary learners, you can count only those mistakes that disrupted communication. If the answer matched the question, then the students will get a point. Another thing you can do for beginners is to practice one particular sentence structure, question structure. For example, uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite food, drink? What color is or what color are? What color is the sun? Have you got a, have you got a dog? Have you got a friend? With intermediate learners, you can practice a particular type of questions. For example, uh, alternative questions. Have you got a brother or a sister? or to practice only past tenses. What time did you get up yesterday? What were you doing when the clock struck 12 yesterday? For more advanced students, you can introduce a rule when students must ask and answer questions on a particular topic. For example, social nets, modern technologies or ecological problems. As for grammar, you may ask them to use only conditional sentences. For example, if you were a producer, what kind of film would you like to make? This will make students think critically, creatively and use their language skills at a higher level. And this is how you play the game Fast Questions. I'm really happy that you joined me to learn about this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try in your classroom and let me know in the comments how it all went. Well, and see you again on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and switch on the notification bell, both on your channel and in YouTube application to stay up to date with my future videos. That's all for today. Love you. Enjoy every moment of your lesson. See you again.